Hello, welcome, welcome back. Jim here, good to see you. I hope everyone is doing well and making great music. So MuseScore has not let us down by any means when it comes to node input. And today we're gonna to be looking at real-time manual. It's very different from real-time automatic. Not a super user with real-time manual, but I have found many things that I wanna share with you so you can speed up your workflow. And you can add in triplets, pretty cool. I like triplets, you like triplets? Let's go. So what we're gonna do is go to the default node entry You'll see it there. Go down, select real-time manual. I'm using my MIDI keyboard and a MIDI pedal. The MIDI pedal is going to show how you can use the advanced feature. In fact, in the MuseScore manual, I'm saying manual a lot, it's set to the enter key or return, and you should definitely change that just because that key is used for so many different tasks. All right, so now our goal is to make sure that the MIDI keyboard will work with real-time manual and to get the MIDI pedal linked so it will be act as remote control. We don't want to use the enter key. So we're going to go to edit and then preferences. After you get to preferences, click on note input. We're going to go down. You have where it says MIDI remote control. Now we're going to scroll all the way to the right and where it says real time advance, we're going to go ahead and select that red. By the way, we're going to keep this checked off right now, advance on release. Now, once I go to my MIDI keyboard, this should be, uh, once I click on the pedal, click on the pedal, once I press on the pedal, you should see that green. If not, we'll go into some problem solving issues. All right, I'm gonna step on the pedal, here we go. Is it green? Yeah. So let's say the light didn't turn green when you stepped on the pedal. Quickly problem solve, go to edit, then preferences, and then go to IO. We're gonna focus on MIDI input. You should the name of your keyboard, and then go ahead and highlight that. Up here, I don't know what users are using. The audio interface here, and I'm using ASIO, and then I either can do this or this interface. Click apply. If you've changed stuff, click okay and go back to square one. I'm just gonna talk about the uh, pedal because when I go down, it's one beat. And then when I go up, it's another beat. So I just created two rests. Now I just want a quarter note. So how do I do that? I'm gonna go ahead and pick a pitch, hold that down, you see it highlighted. Foot goes down, lift the hand up, foot goes up. Now, if you want a half note that way, you can go note down and then foot down and then foot up and then hand up. You got a half note or a tied note. Foot down, foot up, a little confusing for me, but I'm gonna fix this. Edit, then go to preferences. After that, you're gonna to go to note input and we're gonna uncheck advance on release. So we just have one pedal motion for that behavior. So now I'm gonna click apply, click okay, and let's check it out. All right, cool, I unchecked the box. So now when the pedal goes down, that's the only motion you get. You do not have to worry about down and up. So watch this, pitch pedal done all right now i'm going to play exercise c dotted quarter note to an eighth triplets quarter rest and then end with two half notes here i go dotted quarter note and now an eighth note eighth note triplets note pedal note pedal note pedal and then we have a rest easy right and watch this i'll condense it to a quarter rest now a half note I think this is cool, especially if you're just gonna be doing some chords. That would be useful. Everyone's different. I think I'm more into the automatic real time. Okay, so there you have it in a nutshell. Let me know if it was beneficial for you and if you have any tricks when you're using real time manual. Awesome. So until next time, please take care and happy music making. I wonder if I could do some sort of minimalist thing and just 16 notes simultaneously and it will stick. dog likes it.